In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create four circle infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here one small circle comes and then uh, with the animation effect, it comes with the second circle with the arrow here and the option number. And when I click, it comes the second option, the third one and the fourth one. I have created two slides, one with animation, another without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, you can subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as you can join my telegram group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the basic uh, oval shape just click it here and the height and width i'm going to make it as 2.15 all right and then i'm just going to put it here shape outline make it no outline and shape field you can give any color and later on we can change it now i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d and give some different color Maybe I can give start giving the colors also. I can I'm going to use this color and I'm just going to increase from 2.15 to 3.15. You can see here and send this to back. Then again, press Ctrl D to duplicate and give some different color. Maybe I'm going to give this color and now I'm going to make this from 3 to 4. and again send this to back and bring this down you can see here something like this then the next one i'm just going to make it from four to five five point one five and i'm going to change the color to some dark color maybe i'm going to use this color and then just send this to back and the last one i'm going to use press ctrl d and i'm going to change the color to some dark color and from five you make it to six and again send this to back and then put it exactly at the center ctrl a select all and then just drag it down something like this Now I'm going to give some different background color, right mouse click, go to format background and just select the gradient fill and you can choose any gradient fill of your choice and I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to change the type from linear to radial and direction from center and maybe this color you can just give some uh, kind of a uh, grayish color here, you can see here, alright and then this color I'm going to change it to white, alright. Now let me just add some arrow designs here. So go to insert shapes from the block arrows. I'm going to choose the arrow pentagon and then I'm just going to draw the arrow pentagon for the first one. I'm going to make it this much size. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I'm going to choose the same color. So the important thing here is to align it properly. So let me just zoom in. And you can see here, I'm just going to bring exactly at the top of this. You can see here, it should be matching with the top. And then I'm just going to send this to back. You can see here, so it looks something like this. What happens if you try to, if you do it something wrong, so it looks something like this or it looks something like this. So it should not happen that way. It should happen exactly. It should be aligned with the oval shape. You can see here, something like this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate and go to format, rotate and I'm going to rotate flip horizontal. You can see here and I'm going to change the color according to the color of the circle. For that, I'm going to use this color. All right, let me just zoom in and exactly I'm going to place it here and you have to make sure that it is properly aligned. All right, and then again, send this to back. 
you can see here so this is my second arrow i'm going to select this control d let me just zoom in you can see here it is properly aligned so shape fill i'm going to give the same color and then just send this to back you can see here and then the last one i'm going to select this press ctrl d and then just place it here and again make sure it is properly aligned all right and give the same color here so now i'm just going to select this and go to format send this to back just click it so you can see here we have end up getting a, a shape something like this and if you want to increase or decrease the size that also can be done now i'm going to add one more shape where i'm going to add the numbers so go to insert shapes and from the rectangles i'm going to select this one which is rectangle top corner rounded just make it like this and make it fully curved from one end and go to rotate and i'm going to rotate left 90 degrees and i'm going to place it here increase the size all right and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and then just send this to back let me just increase the size further so that it is visible so like this i need to make sure that it is properly aligned all right so it has to be aligned properly and then i'm just going to add it to the rest of the options one by one so i'm just going to rotate it flip horizontal you can see here and then just send this to back so you can see here i've added all these options now and uh, i'm going to add one more oval shape i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate hold the ctrl and shift key together increase the size and go to uh, you can see here the transparency and the fill i'm just going to increase it and here the line i'm going to make it as a white line okay and if you want you can increase the line width also i can just increase the line width all right and then i'm just going to place it exactly at the center make sure that it is in the center here it looks something like this and then i'm just going to select all these circles you can see here by holding the shift key and then i can go to the effects under reflection i can choose any preset reflection here so it looks something like this and then i can give some shadow effect also and if you want you can just join it together also if you're using the latest version i can just select this go to format merge shape and you can just make it union also but i'm not going to do that one and uh, if you require you can add some shadow effect as i said now once this is done it's time to add the text so i'm going to add the text if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just go to insert and click the icons and if you're not using the latest version like 2019 or office 365 then i have provided a free uh, icon uh, slide you can just download it so i'm just going to randomly download some a few icons okay and click insert you can see here and i'm just going to add one by one here maybe i'm just going to add it here one one here so like this you can see here and if you want you can just reduce the size also first of all i'm going to change the color to white and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0 0.6 all right and then just arrange it properly and once this is done uh, we can add the title and the text so go to insert text box you can add title here you can see here I'm going to make it a white font put it here and then go to insert text box and I'm going to add some detailed text so I'm just going to give some Latin text and delete the unwanted text and I'm just going to put it here again white font reduce the size you can see here and then press ctrl D to duplicate I'm going to add it here Control D to duplicate. I'm going to add it here, but this time I'm going to make it right aligned. Go to format align and make it right and put it here, something like this. Control D to duplicate, and I'm just going to add it here also. And if it is uh, reaching this one, you can just cut it also, something like this. All right. So, and here you can add one more icon or you can add the title here. I'm just going to add the headline, I can say. Center align, make it bold. 
and increase the size so you can see here and here this part i'm just going to add the option number i'm just going to duplicate this and i'm going to make it one reduce the size and give the same color you can see here this is one press ctrl d so i'm going to add the option for each one and here also i'm just going to put it so this could be this would be two this will be three and this is four and just change the color as per the color we have choose for this you can see here so you can that's it so our design is ready and if you want you can give some basic animation effect to this